Hello everyone, how's it going? Eric here, and some news dropped in the middle of the day for Australia for once. So yay me, I get to talk about it. Ooh, and hit my laptop for some reason. The news that dropped was apparently Nintendo, according to the Wall Street Journal, Nintendo is to launch two new Switch models sometime this year. That, 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 that is crazy. crazy! First of all, yeah, no. <laughs> so, I, um, I have some really, 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 really big doubts about this. Do you remember the last year, just last year, the Wall Street Journal was reporting the same thing except for one Switch model. You know, if they just keep throwing stuff at the wall for long enough, something's gonna stick. So the article reads, Nintendo plans to launch two new versions of its Switch console as early as next, as this summer. That, that's so soon. <laughs> We're not getting two new Switch models coming this summer. Was that announced for coming? Launch! Launch! Yeah, no, that's not happening. Okay, let's get like, realistic here. That's not happening. We're not getting them this summer. Does this year really need two new Switch models to, to bolster sales? This year doesn't need it. This year's going good enough as the company seeks to sustain sales momentum for the product going into the crucial third year. Uh, okay, so first of all, crucial third year. What, what happened to the crucial first year and the crucial second year? I'm pretty sure every year is kind of crucial. The crucial third year, like, Okay, let's do some buzzwords in there. That'll get everyone's attention. Now let's move on to the crucial second paragraph. One version will have enhanced features targeted targeted at avid video gamers. <laughs> Hi, my name's Eric. I'm an avid video gamer. Although it won't be as powerful as PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X. Uh, so, okay, we're looking at enhanced features but not as powerful as them. I wouldn't expect it to be as powerful as them. Could you imagine getting that much power into a little handheld? God, it would have to like be so loud and so big to be going like that. Imagine sitting next to someone on the bus and you've got your powered up switch and like the fans working that hard that it's just blowing air into the person next to them. You know how loud the pe like, I, I don't use my PlayStation much, but I only have the base model. But man, does that thing like chug along and get like, get a good, it gets really loud. It sounds like you're coming into the airport. I imagine being on a bus and all like just sitting next to anyone, that'd be really annoying. <laughs> Actually, before we go on, you know, I need to say this. I am doubting it's gonna happen. That doesn't mean that I don't want it to happen. I hope this happens. Like I hope we see some, maybe not the two models, like let's not go nuts here, but like I hope we see some sort of other models with a switch to one that does bolster sales, two, it does kind of appease people like myself who have a switch that's falling apart. Uh, and three, it's just, out of good for business, it could be good for the Switch. The other version is a cheaper option for casual gamers that Nintendo sees as a successor to its aging handheld 3DS device. Possible. Like I could, I could see something like a lower entry Switch coming into it, but as always with all of this, like the higher end Switch, the lower end Switch, there's so many problems with each one. If you make a lower end Switch, what are you doing? Are you making just a Switch smaller? Because, well, like you have problems with the Joy-Cons. Are you having it all as one unit? Well, then it's no longer the, the Switch. It doesn't, you can't take the Joy-Cons off and, and a lot of that type of stuff doesn't work. A lot of people have theories and I'm not going to go into them, but um, I'm just saying it's going to be a struggle. Like, they're in Struggle City if they want to make something smaller and actually cut a lot of the cost. I mean, you can cut costs, but how much are you actually cutting in the end? You need to cut big chunks off of that to be able to really make a dent for the consumer. Taking 20 or 30 bucks off ain't going to do much for us. The new models are likely to be unveiled at the E3 Video Game Expo in June and possibly release a few months later. So, these new models unveiled at E3. Does it really need a hardware to keep going with it? I think this year's fine without it. Like, I don't think this year needs that hardware to push it. Blah, 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 blah. Investors are doubting that it's going to be successful forever without it. So apparently some analysts, which you know we can definitely trust here, <laughs> they think the Switch will have an average of 17.9 million units sold in the fiscal year ending at the end of this month. And then in the following fiscal year, it will have 17.4. So yeah, you know, the Switch is really struggling. Um, that big 0.4% drop there. Th that's just an analyst. Like, well, they do go on to say that this cheaper version will lose the HD rumble effect. Um, yeah, I, I don't know about that. Like, Again, all of this is just speculation on my behalf as much as it is on theirs by the sounds of it. But losing the HD rumble effect, I, how much are they cutting there? How much cost are they cutting by taking a rumble out of that? Five bucks? Eight bucks? I don't know. Like, how much, how much is that really going to cost Nintendo in the end? Um, not us, but like Nintendo for the, those parts. I, I, can't, I can't imagine it being that much. I can't imagine them being like, this is such a big saving. We're slashing 30 bucks off the price of the Switch. Get it while it's hot. Nintendo is preparing to release new game titles 
from well-known franchises such as Animal Crossing and Pokemon to bolster Switch hardware sales. Okay, like, we need hardware sales! Where's Pokemon? Where's Animal Crossing? <laughs> no, they're, they're just releasing Pokemon Animal Crossing because it makes sense. Okay, let's talk about this. So, um, what's left here to really talk about? The only, other, the only thing that I want to mention that I always kind of go over with this is, uh, at the moment, they're still supporting Labo. Labo, new features of Labo come out. I don't think there's going to be much after VR. But this new Labo VR kit, if they make a new Switch model and they change the size of it, it doesn't fit in the VR model anymore. So they're just going to abandon Nintendo Labo. I, I, I doubt they like. I don't doubt they're going to abandon it eventually. But are they going to abandon it halfway through this year? Like that soon after it's just come out? I, I really don't see that happening. I mean, it's always possible they could just have a new model and not have it work as Labo. And I mean, have to have that stipulation out there. It's not like Nintendo's any stranger to confusing marketing. Let's let's get that out there right now. But I just. I don't know. I feel like Nintendo's wised up since the, the 3DS, 2DS, 3DS XL, 2DS XL, DS, DS Lite, DS Lite XL, DS Lite, whatever else there was. I feel like I knew something in there everywhere. Um, oh. <laughs> I feel like Nintendo's has, has smartened up since then. They've cleaned up their act and they, they've got to know what they're doing a little bit. I hope they know what they're doing a little bit more than to throw such confusing marketing out there now. I do want to end on that, like, I just, I do hope they change it up eventually and maybe, you know, just even not change it up. Like, I don't care about getting a bigger or a smaller Switch or something like that, whatever they want to do, or a more powerful Switch, which, like, I didn't even go into, but it brings in so many problems with, like, well, what's the old game going to do? And, and is everything going to run on the new one that runs on the old one? And are they going to be on the same level? Like, there's so many problems with that that I don't even want to touch that barrel of fish. It's not the same. <laughs> But I do want to see some sort of revision just to fix some of those those hardware issues that it undoubtedly has. Like I, I've said it before, my Switch, the Joy-Con's coming off, the back flap's loose, everything's kind of that has a crack in the top. Like there's plenty of stuff they could do to just make a more sturdy Switch in the first place and, and maybe still keep it the same. Or you know, there's there's lots of stuff that they could fiddle around with there. I feel like to, to bring out a new revision, but I just don't see it happening right now. You know, the Switch isn't that old. Like. The Wall Street Journal keeps throwing out articles and throwing out articles about there being a new Switch. And it's like, whoa, guys, just, just slow down for a second there. We're going to get one eventually. You don't need to keep throwing out articles. We get it, okay? We get it. Good morning. So, at 3 a.m. last night, I decided, you know what? The video was missing a point that I wanted to make on the end. So I'm back here this morning to make that point. And also, I'm not the next Casey Neistat of gaming. I just have really sore eyes this morning, so... We're just going on with the show. Now, I do want to mention that the Wall Street Journal is actually a more credible source than your average Twitter user. You know, these guys, they have to have some sort of information there just to put something out in the first place. But, however, but, the buts and howevers, that doesn't mean their information is just concrete. Have you ever heard of an old game that, I don't think we're allowed to say this term anymore because I think it's considered racist. So please don't take this as racist, but I don't know the new term for it. Uh, Chinese whispers. Basically in Chinese whispers, what you would do is you would whisper something around in a big circle. And as that, that whisper went around in the big circle, it would change because, well, you know, the more hands that information changes over from, or ears in this case, the more that information gets misconstrued. And so that definitely can happen with stuff like this. There could be information that has been misinterpreted from where it started to where it ended up. And that's not the only thing that can kind of change the information. The information can just change in the first place. I mean, we could come out with information that Nintendo decides to change itself overnight. Who knows? Like, even if everything in this article was 100% factual and true, there's by no means a guarantee that all of a sudden at E3 this year, or even this year at all, we're going to see anything about these new consoles. I think I made my point there, but the other point that I want to make is that Nintendo, they never do what we think they're going to do in the first place. You know, they don't kind of follow the, the sh when we're looking at this and we're going, okay, a pro console and a smaller console. If they do a pro console and a smaller console and this information does somehow come true, I, it's not going to be what we're thinking. I can tell you that much. It's not going to be the pro model that we envision on, in our head and the Switch Mini that we're all thinking in our head. It's going to be the most Nintendo way of doing things. It's probably going to be made of cardboard or something. You know, there are so many problems that we kind of touched on with both of these that Nintendo will find a Nintendo way to fix it. The problem that I'm speaking about is like the stuff I mentioned earlier, like the fan. No one, no one wants to hear that. And what about the size of it? Like getting bigger and bigger means it gets chunkier and heavier and harder to hold. 
battery life. The bigger it gets, the bigger screen it gets, the more it chews through battery, the more powerful the system is, the more that chews through battery. So every, all of this is just meaning like, there's so many of these hurdles to kind of get over. And it's not saying it's not impossible to get over these hurdles. I just don't think that we're gonna see a way, the standard way of getting over these hurdles. I think Nintendo's gonna jump over these backwards and probably do a backflip. You know, they don't just run the normal marathon that the rest of us think they're gonna run. Nothing makes me wanna claw my eyes more about hearing about this more powerful Switch because I just don't know how it's gonna work with games. And what I mean by that is like, if you make a game for a more powerful Switch, how does that run on the old version? We already see games like Assassin's Creed just looks like utter poo running on the Switch. How is that poo gonna run on the better console? That just means people can make poo that's gonna run on the good console, that's gonna run even pooier on the bad console. And we've already seen how bad games can run. Don't give companies an excuse to do that. And then we have the point of the, the Switch Mini that we're talking about here. Um, and like, yeah, as I said, that's possibly more, more likely, but still pretty unlikely. Like, how much cost can you actually cut off this machine by, by making these changes? That's the question. I mean, I'm no expert, I've got no idea. I just don't see them cutting chunks and chunks and chunks that really add up to a big deal that they can slash hundreds of dollars or hundred dollars or even off the console. That's a lot. Possible, but a lot. And let's not forget that adds complications. You maybe you want to put a smaller battery in there because that cost you less. Now you've got less battery life. More complications. And as always, as the whole point of this is they're gonna fix it if they do fix it in the most Nintendo way possible. And that's gonna do it for Good Mornings with Eric. So, <laughs> back to your regularly scheduled ending. Yeah, I'd love to know what you think. Have you got your doubt radar on or are you like, yeah, no, nah, something's coming out this in the middle of this year. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed what happened here today, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And remember, for great Nintendo entertainment, never struggled that much with the ending before, <laughs> you, can count on me. For today's end screen, I don't know why I'm so energetic at these end screens for some reason. I should be this energetic all the time. But for today's end screen, I want to talk about this again. I talked about it in the past, but we have a big blank wall back there that needs some fixing. Um, one day I'm going to get some canvases, some, something nice, and or, or, I don't know what yet, but something can put it up there. But funds. It requires funds and, and a good piece of canvas art that I like. So. That will happen one day. For now, just deal with me trying to stand in front of this wall all the time. I think it's. I think it looks good with me. I'll just cover this wall. I don't even need something up there. <laughs> Goodbye.